News Center's Danielle Wall was there and joins us now with more. Danielle? Well, Pat and Caroline, hundreds of people attended this benefit concert, and organizers say that's a great start to their mission of raising money and awareness around this cause. There was music from different genres and generations. <laughs> and a lot of laughs. <laughs> but this benefit concert was for a serious subject, human trafficking in Maine. Wherever there are people, sex trafficking is happening. Katherine Mossman was sex trafficked in Maine. Now she's an advocate and says victims need all the support they can get. There's a lot of shame and guilt that goes with that. And the more that we, again, bring the awareness and talk about it, it really diminishes the shame and we can focus on the solution. This event is part of that solution. The End of Maine concert raised thousands of dollars for St. Andre Home to open Maine's first human trafficking safe house. And these women are going to be coming in with the clothes on their back that may just be, you know, a prison uniform. So what the money basically is doing is help these rescuers build a life. The shelter estimates it will cost $2,500 per person each month. Beyond the financial piece, it just requires a full community response. And we've been getting that in pieces. And seeing the whole community here is, I mean, I really don't have words. It's just, it's amazing. Performing tonight were comedian Karen Morgan and music artist Motor Booty Affair, north of Nashville, and Steve Azar. It was a great event. Anytime you can get 70s funk and <laughs> country blues and comedy all together at the same time, you got it all. Win-win. Yeah, they played together, actually, for one song. It was great. And epic jam. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle.